Hello everybody and welcome to Train Sim World 3. We're going to jump straight in and do another bit of uh, under 30 minute quick drive because I like the challenge of uh, getting thrown something. Um, something unknown. So we're on Great Western. No, 101. Right, what are you doing here? Destination lights, markers, back here, markers, destination lights. I presume we're going to Reading. Yep, so let's set this to. Oh no, that's already set. Okay, right. Well, come back to this end. Is that also set to Reading? Yes. Uh, control circuit key on. Set my reverser to forwards. Driver's brake to release. That's the gear selector. That to released. Train pipe. My train pipe is still hideously low. We'll get some train lights on. I'm pretty sure the passengers might appreciate that. And AWS. Get that going. Okay, right. Drives back to lap. Gear selector one. We'll get some power. That's change over speed. Coming back up. There is change over speed. Up. I like driving this thing. It adds another level of complexity that I like. It's unique. I've got a six car unit. Ring. Okay, we're approaching our shift up to gear four there it is up we go we'll just see how fast this thing can go uh, remembering of course that we still have to stop in Burnham uh, so got Burnham looks like there's a another 106 car 101 coming up on the fast Another six car 101 on the uh, up slow. Right. Uh, I will actually turn the HUD off, as I don't think I need it. Here comes our 101. Very nice. We're still accelerating reasonably well, actually. Where's our other 101? Okay, right. Oh, we're actually reasonable distance from it still. So get up to the shifting point. We'll power down now. Train pipe to 15 PS. Oh, that's like inches of mercury, isn't it? Yeah. Stupid system. Right, powering down now. Let a little bit more out of the brake pipe. Okay, down to fire, or oh, was that eight inches of helium? Let's dump our vacuum to atmosphere. Okay, that was too much. Rebuild the vacuum. Yeah, I butchered that. 
give one its power up. Stick that back to neutral. There goes our 101. Nyaw. A bit of lap there. There we go. Nice smooth stop and we're not too late. Grab doors. Very nice, very nice. Got Lima 841. Is that 400 RPM? And that's idle speed. My word. But actually, in the grand scheme of things, it's not that much. I mean, they're fairly powerful engines. And there's not much resistance, so they don't need to be super powerful. Super po well, they do need to be powerful, but they can, you know, gear it around. Right, we'll get ready to leave. We will release our vacuum. Or rebuild our vacuum, rather. Lock doors, gear one. Do that. Put our brake at least back to lap. And we'll get ready on our gear change. Gear two. Back up. Next stop, Taplo. Come up 20 miles an hour. Coming up to our next gear change, up to gear number three. There we go. It's 30 miles an hour. Pretty good for a, you know, pre-war diesel unit with manual gears. Okay, up to gear four. That didn't connect. That did. Coming around 45 miles an hour. See, we're gonna see anything else coming the other way. There's something else on the down. Oh, sorry, the up slow. Other than that, there's you. And you. And some other things in and around the loco depot. Otherwise, not really. There's 50 miles an hour. And we'll power off there. Dump the vacuum. But slowly release it. Release. Lap. Nice. Good stop. Release a little bit more. And for a very gentle stop, this. How about that, eh? Full break, um, but we can rebuild that actually up to 15. So 
So there's the release pipe and the train pipe. I've got absolutely no idea what any of that means. But I know that it's a vacuum and 21 is released. Zero is fully applied and I think it was 18 is what you need on the level to keep a train still. The 2142 Reading calling at Maidenhead. Oh, okay. Twyford and Reading. Right, when we're ready. Get the go ahead. Put it into gear. Release the brakes. Lock the doors. And we'll knock that back to lap. Don't think I'm working against the brake, no. Nice. Back up to speed. Coming up to gear three. Off, up, back. Ring. It's a bit weird driving along with the electrification and the colour lights, but eh, whatever. It is what it is. Here comes another 101. Up to gear four. There's 45 miles an hour. Doing fairly well on time, actually. Halfway through the stations in... What? When did we leave? Yeah, about just under half the time, so we're fine. Did I get... Oh, look at that. Stop. We only lost three points on that. Three points. And um, we're due into Reading. When are we due into Reading? Sometime after 9.54. So that's fine. Thinking of 54 at 54 miles an hour. Coming into Maidenhead. So I'll go fully dump the brake pipe. Just to bring the speed down to manageable amounts. Release that up to 15. Keep that releasing through. Okay, smooth stop. I should have that fully released now. Cruising in at 20. So I could break much later, actually. Maybe about 700... 700 yards? I'll try that for Twyford. And we're quite early, actually. Well, all things given. I've got to go all the way down here and all the way down. Right, fully off. And hold there. How's my braking? Oh, fairly good. Not bad. Good size. Have a look at that. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Shut up, woman. You're not a real announcer, so... I don't want to hear it. Don't hear it. Simply do not want to hear it. 
All right, coming up to doors closing time. All right, put the train in gear. Release the brakes. Lock the doors. And we'll get moving. Train brake back to lap. There we go. Go up to power three in a moment. There it is. It can go up to 90 miles an hour. Something tells me it won't. See, what does this speed at? This goes up to a hundred. I think this thing will do a hundred. Some sand. It's a lot of sand. Unless it's not sand. I don't see what else it would be. It doesn't, I mean, why would you need grain in Maidenhead? Why, more importantly, why wouldn't you put it in a silo? Anyway, I'll stop judging the people of Maidenhead on that sand or grain storage practices just come through 40 miles an hour it's 45 can we get up to 70 by the time we get to Twyford I think we can 59, no, 49, 50, come on, 51, 52, 53, engine RPM still coming up, 54, 55, Still not at the full rev limiter. Coming through six, uh, 57. 58. 59. Still not at the maximum. Coming through 60. Getting close to the maximum revs. I mean 61. Still getting closer at 62. Oh, there's 63. We're just about at the top of our range. Wonder if the engine will do a little bit more. There's 64. I think the engine's giving us everything. Speedo. Very slowly. I don't know if we're still accelerating. Have a look at my acceleration on here. Doesn't. Doesn't look like it. Oh, actually, no, it does. Very slowly. If just watch the needle moving around, I think we'll. Knock it up to 65. What are we at? We're at 65. Good God, and on an upgrade as well. This would be really terrible on the engine, but I mean, look at it go. For a unit like this, it's bloody good effort. So you should see another unit come up on us. And there it is. Try and grab a screenshot of it going past. One, two, three, four, five. I failed to grab a screenshot of it going past, but that's 
not an issue. Are we doing 66? No, still 65. Regardless though, we are rocketing along. And we'll be in Twyford, timetabled for three minutes. But I think we'll be out a lot faster. I think I can be there win within two, I reckon. My speed machine handling of this poor sod of a train. Oh. Speed and power. We've got the first of our speed restrictions coming into Reading. 2.3 miles. Is that we crossing over anywhere? No. It's just because it can. Okay, got to be in two minutes. 1.3 miles. 1.2 miles. And I'll do full braking from 700 yards. See where that gets us. It's one mile. Oh, ha, ha. Okay, right, I'll throttle back now. Throw it into neutral. And the speedo inches down. Inches down. Alright. At 700 yards. Going full brake application. See what this can do for us. There's 45. There's 40. There's 35. Start to release it. There's 30. There's 25. God, they do stop pretty quickly when they want to. I think I could even do that a bit later. Gee whiz. Cruise past the stop marker. And we'll set that to lap. And we are 20 whole seconds early. <laughs> A whole 20 seconds. Makes all the difference. Calling it Reading. No shit, Sherlock. It's a lot of slack in those. A lot of slack in that. Did something just go past? No. Oh. Okay, right, we'll put it in gear. Release the brakes. No, apply the brakes. We'll lock the left hand side. Go! Right, and we've got to go all the way into Reading now. Set that to lap release. Coming up to the third gear change. There it is.
Now coming up to fourth gear change. Accelerate as much as we can before the 40 mph limit. There we go, full power. Oh no, that's a neutral, okay, oopsies. Full power. Lovely. Right, so now on the down fast. And just coming into Reading now. All the way. see how far is it this is what it would look like at what 230 kilometers an hour 150 odd miles an hour so coming up we've got a double yellow up here Single yellow. God, look at these this point work here. It's atrocious. Uh, I guess that's a, some traps, but grab that AWS just in time. We're at sixty-five miles an hour. still going well there's our double yellow and it just flew past so we've been routed onto the fasts only to then cross all the way over to the slow lines again. I have a feeling that we're going to be coming down to 40. Yep. Hold there. This thing's well, pretty bang on. We're still crossing over. And then we're still crossing over. So we would have been on this road, but they put us over two roads to the left and now bringing us five roads back to the to the right. No, five? Four. Yeah. And we could have just gone one to the right and it would have been the same. Shut up.
Right, Ooh, stick it in idle. Bring the speed gently down to 30. Gear three. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Right. Neutral gear. Grab that. Slowly release. Make a smooth stop. Doors. Nice. Good stuff. Just past 10 o'clock. Welcome to Reading, welcome to Reading, welcome to Reading, welcome to Reading. W8 Smith. Escalators conveniently broken. Conveniently with a, no texture on that handrail. What's that noise? Okay, sure, whatever. It's fine, I guess. Right. Lock doors. Stam it into gear one. And we've got a clear on the on the what's it called, on the shunt signal. Up we come. Gotta go down to 15 in a moment. There it is. There's a shunter in here. So we are coming only just up to here. So just short of that shunter. And that'll be the end. Do we have to shut down? Yeah, so just go shut down the train. So set that to neutral now. Throttle is off already. Uh, driver's brake applied. I'll do that when we stop. Reverse it off and control circuit off. Control circuit key off, and that's everything. Good job, let's call it a night. Indeed. See how I did? Nice, nice. Is that a gold medal? It is a gold medal. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this quick dry video, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.